It's your boy Gurun Daos back with another bang on video. My goodness, we've got some shocking transfer news for you guys. Yes, this January we're not going to talk about Wilfred Zaha to us, and we may, we don't know. But most importantly, the whole transfer window is definitely going to be exciting, and it will be revolving around Eden Hazard to Arsenal. Yes. It looks like Real Madrid are getting rid of Eden Hazard. Yes, Hazard, the man who has tormented a lot of teams in the Premier League, including Manchester United, Arsenal, City. But my goodness, the man who literally scored wonder goals against Arsenal, solo goals against Arsenal, Eden Hazard is linked with Arsenal. More on it. Keep watching the video till the end and make sure you subscribe for daily Arsenal content. Of course, the transfer news is the priority, but we can we actually do majority of uh, the news related to Arsenal, uh, related to players, but most importantly, we are actually going to discuss about Aiden Hazard to Arsenal. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. The first news that we've got here is that Arsene Wenger has admitted that he may have made a mistake by not re-signing Nikola Anelka. Nikola Anelka in January 2008 when the Frenchman incident signed for Chelsea. He says maybe it was the wrong decision. We, he wanted to come back. Maybe it was a mistake. I wanted to give this signal to the players that once you left the club there is no way back. I felt that they would then have a hesitation to leave. I didn't give them the feeling of okay I go somewhere else. I try it and if it doesn't work I come back. That's why I did not do it. And overall, maybe I should have done it. Nicholas still scored in 125 games overall in the Premier League. I think something like that. So he could have helped us. So he is actually regretting the fact that Arsenal did not sign Nicholas Anelka again because Anelka, of course, went on to score a lot of goals afterwards. So, yeah. But more importantly, well, uh, uh, the Le Professeur has actually uh, given us a big reason why. He wanted to actually make a statement and an example out of Nicolas Nalka, which makes a lot of sense. Which we saw with uh, Cesc Fabregas, of course, Van Persie afterwards, yes. So, yes. Now, let's talk about something more. Mikel Arteta has opened up about Nicola Pepe after the Ivorian scored an impressive goal against Dundalk. He says, um, I don't think he's got that. Uh, obviously, he's not been the first choice in a lot of games at the moment. But to be fair, he's played quite a lot at the moment. Some better than others. It's about finding the consistency. He needed time. It's not easy when the club makes the investment that they made on him. The expectations are high. He's handled the situation really well. He's better adapted and he's a player that is unpredictable. That has something special. So that's the big reason why Nicola Pepe is regarded highly by uh, Mikel Arteta. Well, only time will tell whether that will work in Arsenal's favour or not. But moving on, let's talk about someone special. Kieran Tierney. Yes, Kieran Tierney showed up at Arsenal in this t-shirt. In just a t-shirt uh, in the game, uh, in the freezing winter temperatures. The man is, I don't know, he's, he's, he's differently built, I guess. I mean, of course, the people of the previous generations, I remember, I reckon, uh, when I actually uh, spoke about, uh, uh, when, when we used to speak about our grandfathers in India, you know, these guys were, uh, uh, they used to wear something very, very less when they were, when, during, during cold temperatures. But this guy, Kieran Tierney, is just similar material, man. I mean, come on. Who does that? I mean, unbelievable. Because uh, 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 Tierney's teammates were seen wrapped up in thick coats and track suits as they turned up at the stadium. Until hilarious footage showed that the 23-year-old strolling past in just a thin pick club polo shirt. My goodness. Tierney. Lad, never change, lad. Never, never, ever change. But moving on, let's talk about Mazut Ozil. He posted this image uh, with a tweet uh, saying that it is a very sad situation. Get past, I extend my wishes to uh, everyone in Turkey and Greece. This is so heartbreaking. Praying for everyone affected in Turkey and in Greece. Well, he's actually addressing the Turkey earthquakes and, uh, and Greece earthquakes, of course. So, yes, uh, so it, it's a very sad situation and Mesut Ozil is considerate enough to share it on his social media because, of course, that's what Mesut Ozil do, does these days. But moving on, William Saliba actually played in for Arsenal under 23s yesterday. Yes, uh, they had a game against Liverpool. Uh, Grashik, Nort Norton, Cafe, Saliba, Rinzei, Lopez, Tim Akinola, McKenna, uh, Aziz, uh, Cottrell, Moller, 
Dos Moller and Folorin Balogun played the game. So let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm actually hoping Balogun being named in the Premier League uh, 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 bench as well. Let's see if that's going to be happening or not. But moving on. Well, the Guardian said that Arsenal intend to hire a replacement for his family to deal with various elements around contract negotiations. But the role will not be as senior. And the key decision makers will now be Mikel Arteta, Edu, Winner Venkatesham and Pierre Mertesacker. Who cares? But well, moving on. Well, Mohamed Eleni was in a cheery mood in the Gunners' gym. Eddie Nketiah claimed the Egyptian ace by was celebrating his short midweek stint as captain in the Europa League win over the Dock. To which Eddie Nketiah actually asked, actually wrote uh, what Eddie Nketiah actually uh, mentioned. Still celebrating his five-minute captaincy. Yes, uh, Eleni was a captain for of Arsenal for just five minutes, and the guy is happy. The guy is happy and has not, uh, you know, uh, kept a foot wrong. Of course, never. But moving on, but let's talk about Nobby Styles, ladies and gentlemen. Arsenal paid tribute to England's 1966 World Cup winner, Nobby Styles, who has passed away aged 78. When he danced, the country danced with him. Rest in peace, Nobby Styles, MBE. Our thoughts are with his family, friends, and those who adored him. So, yes, Arsenal have paid their tributes to Nobby Styles. And yes, talking about his family again, because Arsenal's contract negotiations master was. Um, Hus Femi, now he arrived from Team Sky in 2017 and was tasked with negotiating contracts of players and brokering the best possible deals with agents. Well, according to Athletic Femi, will continue in his role for the next month and complete the handover process. It is claimed that the Gunners will replace him with a football operations executive that will have more of an all-round role, including negotiating contracts. But, you know who's going to be the boss, of course. Three bosses at Arsenal right now. But moving on. Arteta says Arsenal are ready to break their hoodoo versus Manchester United at Old Trafford. He says, I think it's been 14 years since Arsenal have won a league game at United. And after the defeat like we had against Leicester last week, I think it's a perfect scenario to go there and try to do that. So, well, I like it that Mikel Arteta has actually have some plans and actually he would want to implement that and get a win. Three points and break at the jinx, break the record and increase the pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to perform for Manchester United. But let's let's just skip it because the news that you guys are here for, let's discuss that. Aiden Hazard to Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So let's jump right into it. Real Madrid forward Aiden Hazard wants out of Madrid. Yes. Uh, and wants to come back to the Premier League. The rumor of links to Arsenal are true. They've spoken to his representatives and it's a move they are very interested in doing in the summer. Arsenal are damn interested to bring Aiden Hazard at the Emirates, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! And the option of him returning to Chelsea is off the cards. As they have said, he is not needed at this present time. The Belgian international is open to moving to any of the top Premier League clubs due to his desire to return to the Premier League. So Aiden Hazard wants to come back to the Premier League and I pretty much believe that Real Madrid move was the wrong one for Aiden Hazard completely. And it looks like uh, when uh, the big clubs come calling, you just don't make the, those kind of decisions anymore. But Aiden Hazard has learned it the very hard way. So Aiden Hazard to Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! I I am really shell-shocked right now. Of course, it's going to be a loan deal. Of course, we're going to follow only, only the loan deal right now. But Aiden Hazard to Arsenal, my goodness. We literally are becoming Chelsea FC, man. I mean... Retirement Chelsea FC, of course. We are, well, we are becoming one. My goodness. It's, it's, wow. That is unbelievable. That is really, really unbelievable. Wow, who would have thought? But Arsenal's Alex Lacazette posted this image uh, on his stories of Instagram. He filmed teammate PM Rick Aubameyang showing off his golden boots. If you can see in the image in the changing room. Yes. So, let's see how things will change for Aubameyang's with that beautiful boots if it can help the Arsenal or him to score more goals. Now Arsenal won't have to face four Manchester United players when they face against Manchester United on Sunday. Eric Bailly and Jesse Lingard are both still returning to fitness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I said uh, uh, stars and I included Jesse Lingard there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, and now left back Alex Telles has tested positive for COVID-19. So, Alex Telles has tested positive for COVID-19, won't play for uh, Manchester United against Arsenal. And of course, Tony, Anthony Marcia, the French Pele, is suspended after his red card against Tottenham. He's out. And also, Arsenal legend Nigel Winterburn reckons Arsenal will not make it into the top four. 
He says Arsenal need to aim for the top four, but I don't see it happening. The first ten games always give a good idea of where Arsenal will finish. They would like to go into the last few games of the season having a chance to be in the top four. Losing three of their first six games is not ideal, and other teams are looking far better at this moment in time. With Arsenal already having to play catch up, we will know halfway through the season where Arsenal will likely end up. But as a fan, I do hope that uh, uh, come the end of the season, they have a real chance of finishing in the top four. However, on current form and the way the team is playing, I don't see that happening. And we, Arsenal, will drop too many points, and the better teams will pull, pull away from the rest. So these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came here. All the news and news and everything about Arsenal comes back from every single day twice. So sit back, relax, and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform, guys. Send me your formations and your predicted eleven uh, using createformation.com or any other app uh, on my Instagram and uh, Twitter. Follow me on those uh, uh, on my social media platforms as well, and send me your predicted eleven. Arsenal versus Manchester United. Arsenal eleven. Don't send me combined eleven. I hate that. So please send me send me uh, what will be the lineup for Arsenal against Manchester United. I will feature them in my video. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe and keep believing. Eden Hazard to Arsenal, baby.